Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Frontier Patriot. Today I've made an 18th century version of Gatorade. <laughs> this is called Switzel, or Switchel, or Swizzle, Ginger Water, or Haymaker's Punch. George Washington writes in his diaries that he ordered the men to drink Haymaker's Punch. It must have been a really hot day. Back then they didn't know anything about electrolytes, but they knew that a drink like this would replenish you after working your butt off all day or sweating everything out because when we sweat out we lose uh, what's good for us so we put it back in which is electrolytes and this here has ginger that's good for you it's got vinegar which is good for you uh, real 100 percent pure maple syrup a little bit of sugar is good for you and then water of course which is good for you did that just fall in there <laughs> it's the flavoring where was i Oh yeah, um, so I used about a quart of clean cold water, two teaspoons of dried powdered ginger, and a quarter cup of the pure maple syrup, the, the real stuff, the good stuff, from up from Canada. And I used a, just a splash of vinegar, maybe an eighth of a cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And this ratio is perfect. This is the first time I've ever made this and it is delicious. I was worried it would be too vinegary. I've been to events and people have offered me the, you know, a, a taste of theirs and it's, I didn't tell them, but it was really, really vinegary or it was just really watered down. They didn't put enough of the spice in it. And ginger can be kind of hot, especially if you try fresh ginger and you you, you bite on it. it. It's hot, it's spicy. Now I like my pumpkin pie spicy, but not, not, not my drinks like that. But uh, this is this is really good very good so it's really hard to find a recipe from our time period that we normally do here on the show which is from 1780 to 1820 the late 18th century early 19th century um, it's not really written down I think it's it's just something that everybody knows to do people might have used honey instead of molasses or they might have used maple syrup like I did they might have added a pinch of salt salt is good for you as well um, you could add cinnamon or nutmeg to it if you really want to. It, it's a good drink. But it has been here in North America since the pilgrims arrived. But I cannot find a written recipe uh, any earlier than the 1850s. So I just kind of went on my own. I, I know what the main ingredients are and I just did my own thing. And it turned, it turned out perfect compared to the other ones I've had. So I really hope you try it. It is very, very good. And it's good for you. And it would probably be really good if it was if it was uh, heated up like warm apple cider. That that's really good. So this would be good too. Now back then, uh, they would take this jug with them if they were working in the hay fields, and they would stick it in a in a stream somewhere and keep it ice cold with the water. This is cold. It's been in the shade. But uh, let me see if I can show you the beautiful color that it is. I mean, it it it's gorgeous, golden color. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Like I said, this is the first time I've made this, and I'm going to continue to make this. This is good. I even think Justine would like it. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has watched our latest videos and has subscribed to both of our channels. The, the numbers are going up and up every day, and it's amazing to see. We are just, we're so appreciative of it. And, uh... We just want to say thank you and we love you guys and uh, have a good day. Mm -hmm.